Hello Aquarius and Cross Watchers alike. This is your February reading for this current year. Yay. Anyway, um, this is for the sign of Aquarius and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, cool. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose. Away it goes. No point in worrying about shit that ain't about you or ain't none of your business. Unless you're nosy, of course, and then that's a completely different story. Want a personal? It's down in the description box. Well after the music channel listings. Thank you very kindly in advance. Anyway. So, Aquarius. This could either be you or a person you're associated with. Either a partner, friend, loved one, a fucking dog. Don't matter. This is somebody either observing you or you are observing them. One of the two. Aquarius and Quas Watchers. We got the High Priestess with the Queen of Wands right here. Like, she's standing in her power and she knows some shit. Come on. You're lucky I got dressed. You're lucky you're black. Down in the situation is the Eight of Swords with the moon. It's like, ah, kitten. Of course she knocks some shit over. I suppose that's important. What is it you wanted to say, kitten? Queen of Swords could be you also, Libra or Gemini. You need to be gentle with your cutting decisions or else it could possibly haunt you, right? Um, you do want to keep your swords around with somebody, but they aren't turning their back away from you so they can help. They're just walking ahead of you. Not really offering anything. Expecting you to do all the fucking work and just not letting shit go, right? <clears throat> and you might be working on some shit um, in order to help you get from an impasse or a... Uh, what the fuck is it called? Crossroads, you know. Someone might be helping you along the way. But then eventually you figure out, you know, like, hey, um, this person is, I am at kind of at a standstill of my own reflection. I need to go do something about that. Yeah. Embrace your dark side. Go cut people down for no fucking reason. Manifest your dreams, but be aware that there might not be any options if you go a little bit too far. And it can lead to a bunch of vices you're going to have to get through later. Right? And wishes, right? That's the wrong deck anyway. Um, the Emperor with the Seven of Wands. Wanting to be in control and win a battle for sure. Let's see. Princess of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. They also want challenges and possibly wanting to take a new offer of some sort. Fears and Rejections is the Judgment Card. Yeah. Judgment card with temperance reverse. Someone has a judgment call, but they're being a little bit impatient about that. Or not trying to come together with the Sagittarius, possibly. How to shit starts, how it'll end is the Prince of Pentacles slowly and surely delivering an offer of bitter, unbridled rage from the Queen of Cups. Right? Right. So let's see. Queen of Wands with the High Priestess, she knows some things and she's standing there waiting, right? Not able to catch a break or get any rest. After realizing she's kept herself in her own kind of trap, she's got to release herself. Hmm. Interesting. Eight of Swords with the Moon. Someone's in their head about, like, secrets and shit. Staying in the dark, probably fell asleep on their horse and not delivering anytime soon. Uh, could be this emperor who's right here. So, 
Or are you expecting this emperor to tell you something? Because he looks like he'd rather fight in a completely different direction. Have his back to you. He'll face you, but he'll have his back to you when it comes to how he fights. Right? Yeah, and those wants and wishes, you don't want that shit to work anymore. You're just like, I'm not letting you sigh eye me once again, motherfucker. You know, you will talk to me so I will fix myself. This is Aquarius. You know? It's like, this person, it, it's like they have weird defenses. It's like, the, like, if they're over here trying to fight this Queen of Wands, they're doing it with their back to her. And it's just like, that's not going to keep working, man. Someone's going to stab you in the back, even though you're swinging that shit everywhere, right? It's like, he's too focused on the detractors and not the main person who might be the counterpart to the King of Wands, right? Obstacles and challenges, taking a leap of faith, or not even taking a leap of faith, just impulsively moving to either a door or an ace of pentacles. Let's see. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, queen of pentacles. She might have her back turned to this offer right now because it doesn't satisfy her emotionally, you know. Um, I know Pentacles talks about, like, material shit, but honestly, like, materially, nothing to good-ass feelings. Mm. Fears and rejections, judgment call, possibly by a Sagittarius, or just not coming together with another person, not enough patience for it. Could have been someone from back in the day you knew. That you're gonna have to sacrifice now with the three of cups <clears throat> down below and how this shit starts and how it'll end how it'll come full circle prince of pentacles slowly and surely delivering something of sour feelings and bad negligence of sorts um, they got their intuition in the back of their head it's just like i know if i deliver this it's gonna be bad it's probably why he isn't delivering anything now Oh, and here's the King of Pentacles, being shady as shit in the dark. Also counterpart to the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be you, Aquarius, who is feeling like, you know, you know all this shit. He might be observing you and recognizing what the fuck's going on with the situation and everything. He just doesn't care to say shit. Beginning theme, someone's trying... Aquarius, you're probably looking for information about this King of wands and he's looking over at you trying to figure out what the fuck does she know or what the fuck does he know which is just like a lot motherfucker i know a lot why are you asking what i know what is the point of you asking what i know why does what i know bother you so much you know one of those things right because you know if you it's like sometimes when you catch a person in a while you just mention a little thing and you see how much detail they fill in just to be like why why would that be important why is that Hmm. Taurus is dealing with a fibber too, but in a different sense. I feel like you... I feel like this person knows that you know something, but they don't know what you know specifically. And they, I feel like they kind of want to know what you know. But that requires them telling you what they know. And I don't think they want to do that. So let's see what the situation over here. Someone can get this Queen of Wands with the Empress can't get any rest. Because she needs to get herself out of a trap. Yeah, it's hanging her up. Keeping her from where she should be. Mainly because of this emperor. The emperor is the bitch who's giving him the shit that's keeping him in place in the first place. So this emperor might actually be a problem. They might treat you like a pet and you don't like it. Situation below where it seems like dude isn't delivering anything. Because the Emperor's a sour puss, you know. Could be still wanting love and affection here, for sure. And everything to go the way it should to make everything work complete and as it's supposed to. This person's, like, weird. <laughs> you know, they see the Empress, there she is. And she is plagued by this shit. Feeling like the lack of communication isn't helping anything. Like, she can't go back home, and she has no choice but to drop the stuff, but it isn't getting dropped. Or at least that's what he's hoping with her. Wants and wishes. 
Mind you, the Emperor's been all over this motherfucking place like he's trying to cover his tracks or some shit. Oh, okay. I was just saying. Uh, the shit that won't work because communication's needed? Like, that could be manifested here. It could. But you're still gonna have to dump your cup out and deal with the shit. That's the wants and wishes. However, we got uh, the obstacles and challenges with this Queen of Pentacles turning her back because she's not emotionally satisfied in the situation. You know. Um, might not have listened when they should have, this Page of Swords. And that's probably whoever this is. We search it for the information. Like, they didn't listen when they were supposed to, apparently. And then they ended up with a bug. The Ace of Pentacles became a bug. This feels like somebody should have listened to the Queen of Pentacles when they had the chance. And now it's like the offer isn't worth shit because it's like an infestation. It's like not worth anything now. Let's see. Oh, fears and rejection. Six of cups with the three of cups. That makes the nine of cups. Like someone's got to say goodbye to their vices and shit, right? You know, they're left out in the cold in the most like religious, religious and ethical sense. Once again, is like just storming the brain about what originally made them happy. Um, someone's just gonna look at them like they aren't worth a damn. It's just like, this is a shitty statue. I can get one just like that at Walmart, you know? Not sure how to even go into the battle, or if they're even in the battle to begin with. They're kind of blind to everything. They don't see shit. Um, you know. This person, the Aquarius and Crosswatcher, like, I think they want to approach you. They are smart. Like, you know, I feel like they should have listened it was important in some sense of the word, but now they want to investigate when it's just like, I literally told you, you know, how shit starts, how it'll end. I feel like there is an inkling with their intuition about the shady stuff with the King of Pentacles. Well, shit. They're probably going to keep continuing that nonsense. Making excuses. And that's why there's no love here now. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You got exactly what you wanted. This person, Aquarius, whoever you're dealing with, because I feel like this isn't you. Um, I mean, either you're researching information about them and looking them over, or they're looking over the scenario as a whole. Either way, um... They're kind of dumb, just letting you know. Anyway, that was your reading, right? So if you enjoyed and you think this helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe. You ain't got to if you go once to, but I would greatly appreciate it. But I got to go, guys. I love your face, and I will see you later. Bye-byes, and don't get caught.